What's good? You know what time it is. It's your guy, the one and only. Let's get into it. All right. Now check this. Henry Kissinger has passed away at 100 years old. The craziest thing, remember I told you guys, I don't do gematria. There are guys on here you could look for to find, but that's very symbolic. You got to look where you stand for. Now understand, you just saw, I don't do things by chance, dog. I don't do it by chance. I do it how I know. Check it. He was a person who was affiliated with, poli with political news. Now understand when I did the illuminated thing, it obviously was connected to individuals like Henry Kissinger. You can go back and check that video. Now it gets deeper because also around the same time, Diddy has stepped down from Revolt TV. He's no longer the lead. And that's for a reason, because understand there's more people coming to sue. Him as the chairman, they could take the money out of Revolt TV. Revolt TV is a multi-million dollar affiliate. When you have these type of people and that type of money on the line, he should have never been the lead of anything if they knew what was going on. So the question is, did they know? Now remember, there, there are situations I spoke on, like the R. Kelly thing that was exposed by Jaguar Wright, where there was people who were handling the situation but keeping it quiet. Do you really believe that people, no one knew what was going on in this man's life? He has that much money. He's that big. He did that many things. That many accusers stepped out. Now listen, some of the accusers are men. Like, what did I say? Yo, before it even came out, what did I say? I said, what will you guys say if men started speaking up saying that they were violated by other men? This is something you got to be careful of because there's, we do not want to shun people, especially men from coming out speaking, which i.e. little boys, because if they're men coming out speaking, more than likely as boys, they were violated. Do you understand? Do, don't you get it? How can we bash them when it started a most allegedly most situations started when these men were boys that's the thing i'm talking about that's why i tell you most people that say they're men are not men because just because they use that title doesn't mean it these were quote unquote men touching boys that's what a man does they violate a boy come on fam you gotta stand for something you stand for something or you stand for nothing you stand for something or you stand for nothing what do you stand for? And do you know if your children are good? Come on, fam. We need to step up and start to control the generation and what's going on. We need to know what our, what our kids are doing in the future. We need to know. And I'm saying this for parents. You need to know what your kids are doing. You need to know what they're into. Do you know what they're sneaking around on? See, this is big. Most kids sneak around and do things and make an excuse after. That's this generation. Understand, my generation, we, we don't know that. We're dumb with it. We'll come out and say, yeah, I do this. Yeah, I did that. Like, I'm too dumb to tell a lie. I'm going to be honest. Yep, I did that. Yeah, I did that. See, that was me. That was my generation. We laughed about it. We said we did it and laughed about it. These dudes hide it and keep it under wraps and don't want anyone to know. That's weird to me because I didn't know the difference. I would be sitting there, come out and say it. And then everyone looks at me. Like, did you just say that? Or did you just tell on yourself? I said, tell on myself. I'm telling the truth, okay? People don't know what truth is anymore. They'll create a lie and call it true and think that's real and deem it real because in their head they'll say it's true, it's true, it's true. No, I don't know that. This is where I'm confused. We need to teach the youth and the generations what truth is truth. Don't use a lie and call it truth if you're a lie. I don't know that. I don't know any difference. I keep it real. Look, I could not be here before you if I didn't know how to keep it real. I'm not saying there's no one on your fate, but it's not me. It's not the people I'm affiliated with. It's not the people I know for real. It's not the people that ride with me. Not the people that rock with me. Not at all. We don't do that. That's fake. That fake stuff is done, man. If the real is real, let it be real forever. Real is going to rule forever. And that's the thing. They're trying to blend the lies of real and truth. And when you think of it, let's talk about it. Because it's not coincidence. Henry Kissinger passed away. Yes, he's 100 years old. But the funny thing is, go ahead, check the numbers these guys are using. It's not by chance. It's not mistaken. Just because he was 100 doesn't mean it was natural. Allegedly. Natural. This is what you must understand about the world around you. 
these things are serious. Look into what it actually is happening. Witchcraft is happening around you. That's why you got to know the true and living God. These guys dabble in witchcraft. They play with spells. They play with the devil's magic. And they want a good ending. Listen to me. They want a good ending to life. But they want to play with the devil's magic. Does that even make sense? If I'm doing the devil's work, I'm getting a good ending. Then you, you try and force a good ending. By, no, it don't work that way. God's going to cut you off, fam. You're going to get cut off. Don't you know what that means? Because of the evils you've done, you're going to answer before Almighty God. It's serious. It's not a game. Match it. Check it out. 100 years old. Check out what Henry Kissinger stood for. Then Revolt TV goes down now. Well, the chairman goes down and he hands over the seat. Why did he wait till the last minute? He was that hungry. He was that thirsty to do his sin that he couldn't not do the sin and stay the chairman. Listen, just because your celebrities in a high seat don't mean you're meant to keep it. Don't mean you stand higher than God. They want to uplift themselves over God. This is what we must address. We must combat them. This is evil. Stand for justice. None of this fake stuff. Stand for what's right. None of this wrong stuff and trying to make wrong right. Don't do that. That's what suckers do. Do what the real do. What's right is right up front. Everything you learned as a kid, you don't just do bad and say it's right, it's right. No, it's wrong. Do what's right. Because when you stand before an almighty God, there's no excuses. He's going to, oh, don't you know your soul steps outside your body and snitches? It will say, yeah, I was doing this. I did that. I did this. I did. It's your own soul telling on you. You can't lie to God, fam. Just do what's right. Teach your children what's right. While they teach their children wrong, just remember the same wrong they teach your children. Those same children are tomorrow's criminals that go to jail and prison for life. And it's because they got bad teachers. I never did that. All the people I've taught succeeded, successful, good, doing well. Because I know what being a father is for real. I had a father for real. I did bad. He stood there and looked at me with disappointment. I was ashamed as a young man. I had to grow through that shame and become better by changing my ways. Most men don't want to change their ways. They'll die in their sin and burn for their sin. Learn to repent. Repentance is the greatest thing to learn. I learned it. I had to deal with mine. Please make sure your children and you likewise deal with yours. All rights reserved.